Hi guys, my name is Somil Shah and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to interface a load cell with a uh, Arduino microcontroller. So what's a load cell? Uh, a load cell is a device or you can say a sensor used to measure weight of a person. So how to interface that with Arduino, how to print the weight of a person on a LCD using an Arduino microcontroller. So without wasting much of time, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you the interfacing diagram. So it's pretty simple. So you have four wires, that is a VCC ground and the two wires, the analog plus and analog minus. So uh, usually we require an amplifier, uh, I mean, the, because the signals are pretty weak. So after that, we that, after that the corresponding signal goes to ground, VCC, SCK goes to A3 and so on. And so let's have a look at the code itself. It's pretty simple. The code is really very simple. Uh, first of all, I'm initializing the liquid crystal library from the Arduino microcontroller. I am defining the pins of LCD that is 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 that is predefined in the LCD library of Arduino if you are using an Arduino microcontroller from a long time. Then what I am trying to do here is I am defining a predefined values uh, that is load A equals to 10 kg so you can have a look. Then I am defining some analog values for the load. Load B equals to 30 kg and value for that. Then. Then what I'm trying to do here is in the setup I'm, I'm initializing the LCD that is 16 by 2. So since I'm using a 16 by 2 LCD, I'm initializing it. Serial dot begin 9600 is a border with which I'm communicating with the Arduino microcontroller. It's very simple. Loop, uh, wide loop as the name suggests, loop. So it it is going to iterate n number of times. So since it's a loop, right? Now what I'm doing here in the loop itself is int analog value equals to analog read is uh, zero. So I'm reading the analog value from the load cell. So I'm trying to read that value. I'm converting that value into a I'm converting that value into a finite number. Then what I'm trying to do is then I, I'm gonna map that value. So so I'm using a function right here. You can have a look at it. So this is a function. So float analog to load float and uh, log val right. So here I'm doing the corresponding mapping right. So float load equals to map float analog val analog value a a a was defined. Let me just show you. I mean yeah. Yeah, so where was I? Yeah, so the uh, yeah float load equals to map float analog val analog value A analog value B load A load B. So uh, if you uh, see the code uh, very properly, I have defined the values of load A and load B and I'm simply trying to map the value uh, with the function. So you can just have a look at it, load A and the load B. That's it and I'm simply printing on an LCD. I'm setting the cursor to 0, 1, LCD print millis, and thousand, uh, millis by 1000. So I'm printing the time, I mean, uh, you know, millis time. And I'm also trying to print the value of the load cell. So you can have a look, map float, float text, float in minimum, in max. That is minimum weight, maximum weight, and, and so on. So I'm returning the value. So the code will be there in the description section below. So you can download the code, you can edit it, be... Uh, so be very free to you know if you have any questions or doubts you can list your questions and doubts in the comment section below and I would try my best to answer your doubts that's it um, thank you very much guys and if you like the video give a like subscribe to me and I will see you next time thank you